welcome to Las Vegas. Welcome to another episode of the Marathon. My name is Mare and I am in Las Vegas. This is my first vacation in two and a half years and it is the same place we were two and a half years. <laughs> we came here in October of 2019 and then obviously have been nowhere. It was the first time today on a plane since then and we are so happy to be here. We are staying at the MGM. I will do a room tour for you before this vlog is out. Our view is nothing spectacular, although it's kind of cool. We just watch like a plane take off every couple of minutes. Um, so far it is on the shadier side. It is quarter to six at night. We got here at eight o'clock this morning. Our flight landed. Uh, we flew from Spokane. Obviously our room wasn't ready, so we just like put our bags in storage and then we took the tram to more north of this in the strip and we went to the Wynn for breakfast to this restaurant called Terrace Point and I filmed a tiny bit of our breakfast. I didn't bring my vlogging camera. This is actually the first time that I've turned this camera on since we got here, but I did film a few little clips on my phone today. We're not tired, we've napped, we're good. We were up at 3.30 this morning to catch our flight. We drove to Spokane yesterday. <sighs> I'm all over the place. Let me just back it up by saying this trip tried to not happen so many freaking times. I had so many complications with my passport. Everybody in Canada, it seems, is trying to get a passport right now because uh, nobody did for two years. Uh, we had two of our respites no longer be able to help us due to COVID. Um, we had to completely change our flights. We initially were flying out of Canada, then we flew out of Spokane. So then we had to get another night of a sitter so that we could drive to Spokane yesterday to get here today. When I say it takes a village, it takes a village. There are six people helping us with Thomas. So thank you to our village time and time and time again. Six people making this trip happen. So grateful for that. If I haven't said that, I will say it a million and six times throughout this week. So we are here, today is Monday, and we are home on Friday night. So a nice stretch of time off. Like I said, this is our first time off together, just the two of us, really, since 2019. We had a few stints of a few days where Thomas was with his grandparents, but we didn't do anything. We just stayed home. So this is our first time like going on an adult vacation, which is amazing. Don't get me wrong, Thomas is a great traveler and we have a family trip booked for this summer, but if you're a parent, you know. If you know, you know. It's nice to just have some downtime. What am I most looking forward to on this trip? No schedule. We have absolutely nothing planned uh, and we don't have tickets to anything. We just are going with the flow. That is my most exciting thing. The unicorn's most exciting thing is a palm tree and a swimming pool. So the only thing we actually do have booked is tomorrow and Wednesday he booked us a day bed at the pool because this little redhead needs shade. <laughs> so we'll be doing that for a couple days, which I'm so excited about. And my only request for this trip when we booked it was that I go home rested. I don't wanna go home exhausted because I'm in a little break from school. Um, I just finished winter semester and my spring semester starts in 
two weeks today so it's like this this was the only time when I say this was the only time this was the only time we could do this trip and we were tested let me tell you were we tested left right and center another thing that happened that was like I felt like going against us on this trip was the first hotel that we booked which was the Vidara which is where we stayed in 2019 which we loved I cannot recommend that hotel enough um, it doesn't have a casino so you you just like walk into the hotel and you go into the elevator and you go up to the room you don't have to like traverse the casino and the smoke to get to your room loved the Vidara but we had that booked again until a couple weeks ago when the unicorn just happened to be on their website thank goodness and saw that their pool is closed during the week unacceptable when his big thing is like he wants to be by the pool so that's a long story long. We're here. <laughs> We're staying at the MGM, which I have never stayed at before. Uh, so far, super impressed with it. Um, I will show you some of it this week. I will take the camera a bit. Obviously, um, not everywhere, and I didn't take it today because like I said, we dropped our bags. So what did we do? We went to Terrace Point for breakfast. <laughs> I had a Just Egg Huervos Rancheros and the Unicorn ordered vegan chicken and waffles and we split it. So good. Then we went to, then we walked to Resorts World, the new resort in Vegas, just to sort of see what it was like. Um, then we went to Fashion Show Mall and we had lunch at this place called Ike's Sandwiches, which is a chain in the States. And if you uh, are near an Ike's Sandwiches and then you never had it, go please try it. Please and thank you because holy crap, it's delicious. We had it when we were here in 2019 and we've talked about it multiple times since then. So we were very excited <laughs> to try it. We got two vegan sandwiches and then split them, like halved them. And we were so hungry, <laughs> we ate the whole sandwiches. Um, so far I have done 16,000 steps, <laughs> uh, 11.6 kilometers. And yeah, we're doing good on the old Apple watch closed all my rings <laughs> even though I have not worked out today done a lot of walking but it was nice because like we knew the next couple days we were planning mostly to be at the pool um, and we didn't have our room so I thought we'd go up to the north part of the strip so that's what we did went to fashion show mall that's where Ike sandwiches is and then I didn't really do I planned to do a lot of shopping went to Zara nothing just either I'm too old or just not really my style. I did get a hat at Free People, which I had seen online and fallen in love with, but obviously needed to like check it out in person. Bought it, I'll show you. I'm sure I will wear it on this trip. And that's it. Then we just kind of like walked back. We got to our room at like 3.30, 4 o'clock. I promptly napped. <laughs> laid right down. <laughs> it's pretty common for me when we get into a hotel room is to like instantly nap. There will definitely be times on this trip where he goes down to the casino and I sleep <laughs> during the day. Anyway, I think that's all the footage I have so far. Like I said, I didn't really film much, but feeling good. Got that second wind. Um, coincidentally wearing my Britney shirt, which is, I saw her the first time I came here eight years ago. And we are going to take our little backpacks and we're gonna walk to Nacho Daddy because again, that's somewhere that we went um, when we were here a couple years ago and loved it. Really want a margarita, really want some tequila, some nachos. And then on the way back, there's now a Target on the strip, like a smaller one. So we brought a magic bullet. So we're gonna get some fruit and we brought protein powder for breakfast and we're gonna see if they have coffee makers. We might buy a coffee maker because there's no coffee maker in the room and 
we'll see what happens. So, get a few things at Target. Some snacks for the room, some water, that sort of thing. And we'll see how it goes. But welcome to Vegas, and welcome to a travel vlog. It has been, I don't remember the last travel vlog I did, because I didn't vlog our Vegas trip. Was it when I went to Philly? I don't know. Anyway, I'll show you a room tour. I'll show you all the things. Hang out with us this week in Vegas. Facebook group, you know. We are ready to go to the pool. We booked a day bed for today because this little redhead needs shade. So it comes with an umbrella and it's reserved for us all day so we didn't have to stress about getting there super early. Um, I have so many things to tell you. Uh, we had a crazy evening. <sighs> mm -hmm. Yep. I will get to that. And this morning, we, I'm super proud of us, we both went to the gym and worked out. Self high five to that. Then we came back and I made us smoothies in the room. I will show you me making them tomorrow. And last night after I stopped filming at Nacho Daddy, we went to Target and we bought a coffee maker coffee and filters as well as some fruit for the room and some snacks some water uh creamer etc i know that probably sounds like a lot but the coffee maker was twenty dollars the coffee was like nine the filters were a buck so thirty dollars for coffee we each have already had three cups like we drank a whole pot this morning and if we had gone down to starbucks that would have cost us what do you think, like 45 for three coffees? Uh, would have been $8, or 7 to $8 each. Yeah. So $16 a visit, so times three, yeah. It'd be yeah, so like 50 bucks, just for this morning. So already it's paid for itself. Because <sighs> rooms here don't come with coffee makers. So, um, yeah, we are itching to get to the pool. together now it is 6 30 and we are heading to dinner we had a wonderful day at the pool we stayed for five hours which I was very proud of us I napped both at the pool and when we got back so operation relaxation is in full effect um, yeah we just chilled by the pool 
relaxed, had some lunch. Here we are, I napped, put on the little dress, and we're going for dinner at New York, New York to a place called Chin Chin, is that right? Correct. Um, the unicorn is wonderful and makes it his mission to find places that have food that I can eat, which I appreciate. This will be my first like real meal of the day. <laughs> and I'm excited, there's tofu, there's some like noodles I think, maybe a pad thai, we'll find out. And then I think we're gonna hit maybe some gambling. A little bit, a little bit. Let's see. see what happens. Um, I'm hoping that two naps will suffice for the evening, but I'll bring you along. It's been a good, relaxing day. I still do have to tell you what happened last night. I'll just tell you right now. What happened was, we have time, right? Yeah. Um, it was like just after 11 o'clock at night last night, and we had gone to Target, we had come back, we had relaxed, and I was just about to have a shower and go to bed, and I went to draw the blackout blinds, because this room has like a shade, and then it also has blackout blinds, and the blackout blinds were broken, so he called the front desk, and they said, so sorry, instead of sending someone up to fix it, we'll just get you to switch rooms. So we were like, okay, that's annoying because we've like unpacked and settled in, but whatever. So we start packing and we're like three quarters of the way through packing and the unicorn's like, I'm just gonna go down to the front desk and I'll get our new room keys, I'll come up, we'll move, it'll be fine. Okay, no problem. He leaves. And like a few minutes later, there's a call and it's, I answer and it's the front desk and they say, <clears throat> there's someone at your front door to fix your blinds, which I liked. I thought that was like good safety. So it wasn't just someone showing up at our door. I didn't know who they, know who they were. I liked that. Anyway, so I call the unicorn just because like, also I don't know who this person is. So I'm on the phone with him. I let this person in our room. It is the maintenance person. And he's like, why are you packing? I was like, that's what they told us to do. He's like, I'm just gonna change the string on the blinds and it'll be fixed. Like, you don't have to leave. And I was like, I'm just, this is what they told us to do. So he literally changes the blind by the time the unicorn comes back up with the keys. In the meantime, someone else has come to the room and given me a set of keys, and a security guard has come to the door asking if I'm okay, which I thought was nice. Anyway, so, I gotta sit down. So, we've packed our whole room, which we have spread out. Again, I will do a room tour. We get this new room key. We take a couple trips to our new room. It's not as nice. And we're like, whatever, it's fine. It's now like 11.45 at night. We get into the room. Am I missing anything so far? No? Well, there's the whole hijinks of the keys are set to each floor. Right, so the keys are very specific at the MGM, so you have to use your key to get to your room, but like in the elevator, and if you use it, like you can only go to your floor, you can't go to any other floors. So then, now he's, stuck and he can't come back up to our floor he can only go to the floor that his new keys can get to so we figure it out we carry the stuff including this coffee maker which i have now set and is full of water and coffee and coffee so i just put it back in the box so it's like dripping down the hallway <laughs> great um anyway we get into our room we get everything in there <clears throat> First thing he does is he goes to put stuff in the safe, cut to the safe in the new room is broken. And he's like, well, this will not do because we like to keep stuff in our safe in a hotel room. I go to put my toiletries in the bathroom and I see that the toilet paper holder has been ripped out of the drywall and is now sitting on the toilet seat. So I tell him this and he's like, well, this will not do. Like I have to tell someone so that we don't get dinged for this damage. So he calls the front desk and he's on hold for like 15 minutes. No one answers, no one answers. And he's like, okay, well this is ridiculous. It's now past midnight, right? So he's like, I'm gonna go downstairs. So he goes downstairs. I stay in the room just 
you know, in case, whatever. Plus, I'm tired. Uh, we're both exhausted by this point. We've been up since 3.30. He goes back downstairs. It's super busy. It's about to be NHL draft, NFL draft weekend. So it's getting busier and busier. The hotel is packed. The front desk basically tells him that he's being too picky and he's being a pain in the ass. And, right? Yeah, pretty much not happy with that. And like, he was like, well, I don't want to get dinged for the damage in this room, plus the safe is broken, plus there's like drywall in the bathroom. This new room has a smell. Cut to this room, our original room, is now totally fine, because the guy fixed the blind in like five minutes. So they give us, they give him back the keys for the 10th floor, and they're like, just go back to your original room, sir. Which we want, that's what I asked for. What he asked for that. Like, we didn't ask for a third room. It definitely felt like, which is funny because we just watched this episode of Friends, when Monica and Chandler go away, they go to like 10 different rooms because she's annoyed in that hotel. So then he gets the 10th floor key. Now he can't come back to the 9th floor to help me with the luggage. <laughs> So I have to take everything out of our room and I have to go down to the lobby to meet him and then go back up to the 10th floor to this original room, which we never needed to leave in the first place. Now it's like 12.30 in the morning. And if you know me, I don't stay up past like 9.30 if I'm lucky. Anyway, we came back to this original room. The blackout blinds work, no problem. I had a shower, fell asleep and all was right with the world. And this room was great. This original room was fine, but it was, it was a thing. And it definitely being them basically saying, I, you know, we're being unreasonable. That we were being unreasonable. Like we just wanted the blackout blinds fixed. Like we didn't want to move the in the building front. glows green at night. Yeah. So the whole room was like glowing green. We're not being picky. We're just like, we just, the whole purpose of this trip is to sleep. And the maintenance guy was like, I don't I don't know why they're making you move. Like he was super nice, he fixed it. Okay, he was awesome. We should have just gotten his number because then he could have fixed the safe probably and the toilet paper roll. But we're back to our original room. We, we slept through the night. It was dark. The blinds work. And we had a nice day. But it was late. Like we didn't fall asleep till after one. And then we were up at seven, so. Hence the two naps today, but we're going. Yes. Now we're going for dinner, and we don't want to be late because he actually made a reservation, which was great. So that was our night. We've had a lovely day today. I'm no hoping. hijinks today. No hijinks. Here is a look at our room. Really nice chair. Here's an overview of it. It is, um, I'm trying to show you, uh, the light's a bit weird, but you get the gist of it. So we have two queen beds, which has been nice. One for sleeping and then one for just like putting things. <laughs> Um, what else to show you? There is a safe in here, and this one actually works. Important to us. Over here we have our little station for smoothie making, etc. Um, there's one TV here, which, fun fact, the unicorn is a genius, and we always bring our fire stick whenever we travel. So we got our little section here. 
This is my suitcase. My mom got me these packing cubes for my birthday last year. This is the first time I've been able to use them and they're so awesome. Um, dirty laundry. And then it has this huge couch, which honestly we haven't really used except to put stuff on. Oh, this is the hat that I bought from Free People that I haven't shown you yet. This big ol' one. I'm sure you'll see it a lot on me this summer. It's so cute. Um, what else do we have? This is our little coffee station. I think I told you we bought a coffee maker and it's just been so awesome. Um, and then over here there is a second TV, but we actually unplugged it so we could plug the coffee maker in. Sorry that it's like not focusing. So there's another view of it. Oh, I guess I could show you our view. It's of the airport <laughs> and a parking garage, <laughs> which has been fine, honestly, once we got the black elk lines to work. So that's the airport right there. So we've been seeing lots of planes take off and helicopters and stuff. A little mountain view, if you will. It's a little overcast today, which this redhead is fine with. This is the most backward room tour. Usually I would start, this is where you walk in. There's a nice big mirror here, some more art. And then it has this huge closet, which I had stuff hung up. And then when we got moved rooms, I just never hung it back up again. And then in here is the bathroom. Um, this <laughs> is a collapsible cooler that we brought from home. We got it at Superstore last summer, so it lays flat, but then we've been putting ice in it every day. It needs to be refilled um, with our fruit and the juice for the smoothies, and then I got some oat milk for coffee also. It's been great. Not why we bought it in the first place, but it's been awesome. So this bathroom has two um, nice sinks, a nice big vanity, which I love. Um, so I can spread all my stuff out. Then we've got a tub with a shower, and then it's also got a second standing shower over here. So the tub isn't one that I have like taken a soak in, but if we were here for a few more days, I might. I'm not sure, but anyways, that's what the bathroom looks like. So overall, a nice room, for sure. One weird thing is that you have to run the water for about 10 minutes before it gets hot, which I guess is just like, because there's 6,000 rooms in this hotel, I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, that is our room. It's been good. It's been been nice staying here. Do you have a, anything to say about the room? Well, this was not our first place. That was a whole hygiene. So right, I told them about that. I think I told, yeah, I told them about and, that. Um, okay. I would I've been pleasantly surprised. I went in with very low expectations. We did, yeah. However, I found that the service, the premise of staff, uh, overall, how, the, the actual ease to get around once you know it, mm -hmm. uh, it's actually a pretty fun place. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I would want to definitely stay here again, but I have no real complaints about it other than it's our hijinks, the one that you talked about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's our room tour. I will bring you along today. Today's our last full day, so I'm still in my pajamas, which is why you're facing this way, but we're going to get dressed and get ready and head out today. All showered and ready to go. I've got a little kimono on the be all end all bag that I showed in my last favorites video. This has been so great. Again, I like that it just like sits here. So I feel comfortable knowing like no one's gonna take it from me. I just wanted to clarify. I, I feel like maybe it didn't make sense. If you've never stayed in Vegas before, um, there's no coffee maker in the room. I think I already mentioned that. And also there's a fridge, but it is, filled with very expensive snacks, like, you know, a pop for, what do you think, like 10 bucks or something? I think it's 12.50. For a pop. And you can't just take the stuff out 
use the fridge and put it back because they're all on sensors. So the second you even like pick up the Coke, you get charged for it. So that's why we brought the cooler. That's why we bought the coffee maker. You might be thinking it's extra, but it has saved us so much time and money. Like breakfast, coffee, just like going all the way down to find a Starbucks to stand in line for like an hour. I wish that I had known this on other trips to Vegas, but that, I just wanted to clarify that in case you were like, why wouldn't you just use the fridge? Cause it'd be very expensive. <laughs> so if you're ever in a place with a mini bar, don't think you can just move it and put it back. Cause you can't. Okay, we're off for the day. I will show you, we're gonna go to the only plant-based restaurant on the strip. I think it's called Truth and Tonic. And then we have no plans today. Again, this is like the one, my one thing I was looking forward to the most. No schedule, no time frame. It's so nice. We're back in the room. Uh, it is 2.30. And we are here. Today is the first day of the NFL draft, which like means nothing to me, but wow, there's so many people here. The amount of people has like exponentially increased. So we're kind of glad we're leaving tomorrow. Timed it like we had no idea this was happening when we booked. Um, but we went for breakfast at this place called Truth and Tonic in the Venetian. It's the only plant-based uh, restaurant on the strip, but to get to it, it's like way deep in the Venetian at the spa. So we had to go through a security checkpoint, show our ID and get like noted, and then go through like a hallway of suites, which looked incredible. And then went to like the restaurant food was amazing all vegan all plant-based and delicious so i would 10 out of 10 recommend it was just su super cool too to go somewhere that's like hidden and exclusive we just found out about it because we did some research ahead of time before we came on like places that i can eat um we just kind of like walked around a bit took the tram both ways, like the monorail, which I would definitely recommend if you are staying like one end of the strip or the other, like we are, we're staying at the MGM. The monorail is $13 for 24 hours or five bucks a ride. And so the monorail took us all the way to Harrah's and then we just walked from Harrah's to the Venetian, cutting like an hour at least of walking out. Um, yeah, we did a little gambling at, what was that? The Cosmo, which was fun, and Planet Hollywood. No, we walked the Miracle Mile shops at Planet Hollywood. And even with the tram, we took 13,330 steps. There you go, 13,000 steps, and it's only 2.30. <laughs> and that's with the tram. Um, yeah, I went to the Miracle Mile shops. I definitely thought I'd be shopping a lot more while we're here. All I've bought is that hat, which, is surprising. There was nowhere at the Miracle Mile that I was interested in going. We did the fashion show mall on Monday, which is where I bought the hat, but that was kind of like it. Um, we had lunch at Shake Shack, which was delicious. And now we're back in our room and we are going to relax. It's hot. There's so many more people. I'm just happy to be like in a smoke free room. That's one thing I like totally forgot about was after a few days like being in a real smoky casino gets old for me anyways at least but yeah that's an update that is what we've been up to I'll show you if we if we venture out again I'm not sure if we will we leave tomorrow morning but I'm sure we'll go do something oh another thing we were gonna go to a show while we were here um, I was thinking that we would go see Lady Gaga. She's playing tonight, her jazz show, which I saw in 2019. But the cheapest tickets are $215 American. And so that would end up being like 500 bucks Canadian. So just, 
it's just out of our budget and it's a show I've already seen um, there's no one else that's been playing unfortunately while we're here like Shania has a residency but she's not playing Katy Perry Carrie Underwood um, yeah and that's kind of okay like the shows that are playing tonight that aren't $200 a ticket I feel like we would just be going for the sake of going to a show and not really don't really need to so we're just gonna chill for a bit I forgot to vlog dinner but this is the leftover we went to a place called pieology in the MGM this is a vegan pizza it has day of cheese vegan meatballs pineapple mushroom it was so good it's top three meals we've had since we were here and this was the cheapest meal that we had it was $19 for a pizza which we split and we couldn't even finish so if you stay at the MGM this is a good top tip for an inexpensive meal we are back in our room obviously it's seven o'clock on Thursday night tomorrow morning we fly out of here I think I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here because I don't think we're gonna do anything that you haven't already seen we might go back downstairs although one thing that I was curious about and you may be too was this is the first time that I've gone anywhere we've gone anywhere post panini or it's not post because it's still happening but you know since it started and I thought I was gonna feel really uncomfortable in crowds but I didn't but it's definitely amping up now not only is it the draft we also just realized that there's a fight here at the MGM on Saturday night it's so so much busier like when you say like three times the amount of people five times I like five. so there's way more people um yeah and as for masks go like we've definitely worn them in really busy places and like when we took the monorail and like in the cab and stuff but for the most part we've pretty much been outside like we spent two days at the pool a lot of walking and a lot of like keeping to ourselves so we've both felt right mm -hmm. totally fine there is 6852 rooms yeah where we are and they're sold out completely sold out with an average occupancy rate of two but right now it's probably <laughs> higher than that so a lot of people 20,000 people staying here <laughs> a lot of people it's definitely changed it's been a great week we both feel like well rested we spent I wouldn't say like a ton of time in the room but like I have napped at least once if not twice every day we've rested the whole purpose of the trip wasn't to go 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 that is our regular life the purpose of the trip was like relax but one thing that I just wanted to share with you as like a closing point is I brought my journal on this trip and um, I always travel with it because I always have found in the past that like I need time to process what's going on and I need time to like write about you know before like how hard things were and what I needed to change and like I really needed to write a lot and planned vacations to escape my everyday because it was so difficult and I don't want to get emotional <laughs> but I don't feel that way anymore like it just dawned on me today thinking like oh I wrote one page in my journal like my wish for you is that you also can get to a place where when you go on vacation it's not escaping things that are really difficult it's just giving yourself a rest and if you're in a place right now where you are journaling all the time and you're problem solving and you're getting yourself out of a really tough situation look to me to know that it can get better you can pivot you can make a change it may take time but it will be worth it I just I, I used to feel this like need to work so hard to get myself out of such tough times 
and I want you to look at me to know that you can and it is possible. I'm not saying every day is easy. I'm not saying like we don't struggle, but that was a really nice realization for sure. So on that sappy note, I'm gonna end this vlog to Vegas. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you thought in the comments down below. What do you like to do in Vegas? Are you planning any trips this summer? We have a family one planned for later in the summer, which will be fun. Anyways, as I always say, life's not a sprint, it's a marathon. And I am definite living proof of that. You can do anything for 10 minutes. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.